the $50 interactive whiteboard infrared pen demo by Chris Hill. Please visit my blog esltech.wordpress.com for more information. Here you can see a magic marker I'm using to create my infrared pen. It's pretty standard. Uh, you're going to want to pull out the insides to create a hollow tube where you can hide all your electrical parts. Here you can see looking through the empty marker tube. I'm making four right now so you can see I have all my caps and things, four empty tubes. All the parts you need are available at your local Radio Shack. From left to right below the pen there's an infrared LED, a 1.5 volt LED, a switch, and a battery holder. In this case I'm using a AAA battery holder because it fits nicely inside the pen. The first step, drill a hole in the marker tube so that you have somewhere to put the switch. I usually drill mine about an inch and a half from the end. It's a comfortable place to use it. Here's the LEDs and you notice there's a ridge along the bottom of them. Uh, the flat spot on the ridge indicates the negative side of the LED. You need to uh, trim that off with a Dremel tool. So I usually solder my wire leads on before that so I can remember which one's positive and negative. It's just a little easier. The completed circuit, battery to switch to LED and back to battery. Pretty straightforward. Put that through the tube of the marker case. I'm going to shove that with a wire and then create a little hook out of some wire which you can reach down through the hole. Pull out your switch and finally that little nut there that comes on the switch. Make sure you pull that off before you pull it through so you can pull the switch back through and tighten it up. From bottom you can see the completed circuit. The second from the bottom it's pushed through. Third from the bottom the switch and fourth from the bottom everything's shoved back in. The caps are replaced. Now all you need to do is glue the LED in place with some 5 minute epoxy. For more information, please visit my blog, esltech.wordpress.com. You can see more tips and tricks and how I'm using this uh, device in my classroom right now.